हे देयर माई नेम इज राहुल एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल ट्यूब गुरुजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पावरफुल गेम लिस्टिंग वेबसाइट यूजिंग सम ऑफ द लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी विद द लेटेस्ट टेक ट्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग रिएक्ट एज अ फ्रंट एंड विद विथ एज अ बिल्ड टूल टेल बिन सेस एज फॉर आवर स्टाइलिंग रॉग विच इज अ ओपन सोर्स ए पी आई टू गेट द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल गेम्स इफ ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दैट we are going to learn how to deploy our application on virtual if that was not enough we will make entire website fully responsive across all devices if you are ready to learn some new skill then let's get started all right so i just want to show you how a uh, quick overview of the functionality which we have in the application so in this video we are building this game listing application where you can learn all the basic of the react and tail in css also you will learn how to get a react app using the wit so in this application you will see um, we will doing the different themes like dark and light theme for the application you can able to search uh, anything for this application okay by typing and depends on that uh, this particular games will filter it out also if on the left hand side we have genera and uh, on the click of this genera automatically we are fetching the that genera uh, listing so you will learn uh, that one as well also uh, if you see we we will implement different components uh, in the same page so we will learn about the uh, nested component in the react also we will use the uh, inbuilt hooks in the react okay so this application is fully responsive so i will teach you how to make the responsive application so this application is fully responsive then i will teach you how to make the responsive also if you see uh, on the mobile view right um, we call we added the collapsible menu so you can uh, search it from also we, you will see this layout get changed depends on the screen size so you will learn everything basic uh, for this particular project in the react and tailwind css so before doing any further delay let's begin as uh, we are using wit in order to uh, create the react application okay so if you go to the guide section it will mention how to create the application okay and it support a lot of uh, javascript framework like vanilla view react uh, pre react lit and so on okay let's go to your project folder and open command prompt here uh, just type npm create Oh, sorry. npm create wait at latest. Okay, so it will ask you the uh, project name. So in this case, I will write uh, game listing app. Okay, and you have option to select the framework. So in this case, we will select the React. Okay, and the language we will see the JavaScript. Okay, even though if you select the TypeScript, it is not that much difference. But for this project, we will select the JavaScript, and that's all. Your project is get created. Now go to your project by typing cd listing dash app, and now you are in project. And just install the dependency. Okay, so you can install by npm install or you can just type npm i. Okay, so i is a short form for the install. and it will take some few seconds to install dependency if you create this application using the command npx create react app it will take long time to create the application but wit is the one of the fastest build tool it help us to create the application much more faster also uh, it build the application much more faster okay now our all the dependency is installed let's go to our project by typing code space dot it will open the vs code if you don't have vs code just search vs code and download it okay so as a uh, idm we are using our vs code now we are in a vs code if you see on the left hand side we have this project folders okay so these are the all the dependencies in public we have uh, the images okay in source folder we have assets folder where we will keep all our images okay and the starting point of the application is app.jsx okay we are Uh, our application is started okay and uh, this is the index css file app dot css and main dot uh, jxs where the app starting rendering okay 
so we ne we will not touch to this uh, particular main dot jxx for this project we will all working from the app dot jxx and then we will create the component and everything okay these are this is the index dot html okay this is the um, main part of the application here um, it it started rendering okay the package dot json contain all our dependency right now we only have two dependency react and react dom okay whenever we add new dependency it will get added here okay and then we have with dot config dot js yeah if you see it added just a plugin and that's why it's much more faster let's install the tailwind css for the wheat react okay so just type tailwind css wheat okay even though it's you type for react it doesn't matter uh, everything is similar okay okay so we already created the project though so first step we completed now we have to uh, follow the second step you have to uh, run this particular command in a terminal so go to vs code go to the terminal and click new terminal it will open the integrated terminal for your application uh, application okay just type uh, uh, paste it and it will install it then you have to install this command okay once you install this command it will uh, create two files tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js so let's install it and look on the left side uh, it created two files tailwind and post css okay now next step is to copy all of this code okay and put it in tailwind.config.js file so copy this code and paste it replace this code with the uh, the code which we copied okay then come down and you will see this four step is to add these three lines uh, in index.css file so go to the index.css file at top of this just paste it okay and save it next you have to run it but uh, in order to test whether the tailwind css is installed or not what we will do we will copy this line of command and go to app.jsx and we'll paste it here okay above this uh, all of this uh, default code and save it now in order to run the application just type npm run dev okay in the terminal and it will open this uh, port number right so this is the port number where application will run so click control and mouse button click it will open automatically this of uh, a browser with this particular uh, url okay and if you see the hello world which we pasted is showing here and this is the default code okay now uh, i will remove all of the, this default code i don't want it and if you see i saved it and you will see nothing on the screen so we successfully uh, integrated the Tailwind CSS as well. Now next step, right? Uh, let's modify some of the uh, style sheet file. For example, let me write something here, right? Home page, something like this, right? And save it. And if you go back to this application, you will see this home page it in the center. So let's go back to our application and in index.css okay let's come down and in if you see the body tag right it's saying place an item to be center so remove all of this code because right now we don't want it and save it and if you go back you will some some changes right and now it's still is coming in center but not in the screen center okay now go back to app.css and if you see here right it's saying text align center and remove the padding as well okay and then save it and now our application is complete ready okay means everything because in this application we will start everything from the scratch okay now if you see our application right it has uh, we have the header section at the top okay we can call a navigation bar then we have general genera uh, on the left hand side right list of genera and depends on the click it will change this particular uh, uh, listing okay if i click the racing so all the racing game will come here this is still constant this is trading games okay uh, which are the trading right now and the slider get changed correct so the thing is uh, we will divide each of section in the different different component for example header as a one component slider as a one component this uh, uh, general list is one component trading games and popular games as a component right so let's go back to our application and here let's create one folder called uh, components okay and let's create another folder called pages okay you can give whatever name you want pages is nothing but 
the like home page about a page contact us by kind of things right so in the page section we'll i will create one page called home dot jxx which is javascript xml okay here uh before adding uh writing any of this code right go to your uh, extension vs code extension and just type react right here you will have this plugin called ex7 react redux react native okay install this snippet plugin snippet uh, it will help you uh, to create the default template for example once you install this plugin just type rfc and enter it you will get the default template right you don't need to write this template every time so this is the magic of this um, extension so uh, before writing any code i will suggest write um, install that plugin okay now we added this home um, default template right and save it now what you have to do in order to render this uh, home page right go to the app.jxx file and remove this home page uh, text here you have to import that particular component okay so to import this component just type angle bracket and just type home you will see this uh, at the first right you will see this home uh, and the uh, where it coming from right so dot slash pdc dot home dot jxs right enter it it will automatically import it for you correct and then close this bracket okay and save it so this is how we can uh, import the components right so page is our um, one component we can add uh, okay and app dot jx is another component so we can call app dot jx is a parent of this home dot jxx component okay if i save it right now in home dot jxs we just have home okay and go back to our application and if you see just home is printing out okay if you change something uh, welcome to tube guruji subscribe okay and save it you will see the text okay that's how we can add the component uh within each other right is called a nested uh, component nesting okay now remove this text i will keep home for now now if you see our application we have header section at the first right so go to the components folder and let's create a header dot jsx okay and add the default template by adding rfc right now header is ready now in general header is constant right means the content of the below uh, below this uh, navigation bar or a header we can call it get changed right but header will keep uh, at that place correct so what we will do in app.jxs instead of home.jxs we will add that header component in app.jxs about this one right so just type header import the statement and that's all right uh, save everything back to typing control control k and s it will save everything and now if you go back application we have header at the top and then we have home page correct now let's start designing the header now here uh, go to the assets folder and create one folder called images okay inside image you can just open reveal in file explorer and open this image folder i will paste this image okay which is the logo for our application i will rename this to logo that's all now in order to import or use this logo right you have to type import logo the name whatever name you can give okay from and you have to give the path okay so in this case assets slash images slash logo dot png okay and we successfully imported this logo now remove this header text and here we will add this image source right so logo is our dynamic thing that means uh, we already imported right in order to use this one we have to write in a curly braces and just type logo okay and save it if you go back to our application you will see this logo is too much big right so now let's give some width and height so i will give width to 60 pixel 60 and height to be 60 so this this width and height are the parameter of this uh, image uh, tag right so if you know the basic html and css you uh, you you will know this right and just save it let's see how it looks 
and this is perfect okay now we will add the search bar okay like this one correct so uh, inside the do one do tag we want the input field okay of type uh, text so these are the basic html and if i save it if you go back here right in our application you will see this input here correct now we will need to give some styling also we need to add this icon react icon as well right so in order to add the react icon go to this official library of the uh, react icon okay so just just type react icons okay and it will open this page correct so you have to first install this react icon so copy this command go to our application open a terminal you can add new terminal okay and then paste this command so it will install the react icon for us now on the left hand side you will see the bunch of different types of icon okay so for this i will use the hero icon you can use any of this then you have to import this particular statement okay if you are using the hero icon so for each of this type of icon you have to import the statement and just paste it here and you have to replace this icon name with the icon which you selecting okay so just type search control f and search it i don't find anything but let's search manually so we want search uh, icon right So let's let's find this. You see, uh, magnifying outline magnifying, right? I will use this one, copy this, and then replace with this one, right? And in order to use it, right, you just paste the command uh, use as a tag only and save it. And if you go back in our application, you will see this icon. Correct. Now uh, let's put everything in one line. So in the class name, right? Uh, in html css we use class right and then in class name with the help of table in css proper classes we will add uh, we will give the styling so in this case just write flex okay and save it so if you write flex right everything will come in one line if it's not coming or if you see that it's coming in one line now uh, let's give some padding uh, styling to this one as well so i will write background uh to be slate oh sorry background then the slate means the color code which you want it so in this case i will give 200 okay then let's give some padding to two okay and i win i want this division to be full width right so give width to be full okay if you hover on any of this uh, class property right you will see this uh, css so width is 100 percent if you over on this right you will see this background color if you over on the flex so display is flex so this is the css property right behind this so uh, tailwind css classes okay and also uh, i want everything to be center so just write item to be center and save it and if you go back here we'll, we'll see everything right now if you see the input right input is in of background is white right so we have to make it transparent so go to the input add some styling to this by typing class name is equal to background and transparent okay and if you serve you will see it okay also uh, i want to remove this outline if you see right in input you will see this outline black outline right so just type outline none oh sorry outline none and save it and this is if you see right this is quite easy um so styling is quite easy just type of some of the text and you will get all the changes okay now uh, let's put everything okay after that right uh, instead of putting everything together after that we have this um icon right the sun and moon icon correct so let's add that one so go to this um react icon and for now i will add the moon icon okay you will see moon icon here you can add different moon icon as well the field one so let's add fill moon icon this one okay. and i will paste it here 
uh, sorry, we'll add one more div and then we'll paste it here because we want to give some styling and some condition to this one. Okay. And save it. Let's go back, check whether we are getting or not. Oh, just make sure you will import this one. Okay. So import it and save it. And I will get the moon as well. Now put everything in one line. So for this uh, parent div, add class name to be flex and save it. And once you put everything in flex, it will come in one line. Correct. Now, uh, let's put everything to be in this vertically center by typing item center. And you see everything in vertically center now. Okay. Give some radius uh, rounded corner to this search bar and give some mar margin from the both the side. So I will write here uh, margin x to be for example 5 and rounded to be full okay. So rounded to be full means uh, the border radius to be full right. If I hover around this if you see border radius there added 9999 pixel which is full right. And if I save it you will see this one right. So if you see right our cursor is touching, touching to this. Um, icon right so give some padding from the x-axis so i will say padding x to be 2 okay. and uh, let's save it and if you see everything is good now okay i will add the placeholder just type search games okay and the placeholder is there now if i type something it's working right oops sorry now, if you see our application, right, we have some padding from the all of this side, right. So let's give the padding. So go to this uh, parent view and just <clears throat> just add some padding. So padding of three, for example, save it, and you see padding is coming. Correct. Now style to this one, right? We'll style to this one so that uh, it will change on the click of it, right? So let's go back to our application, and here we. We'll along with the moon we will add the sun icon okay see sun icon and let's add it here okay obviously we can't show both at a time right so we have to switch it depends on the condition so in this case we will use the hooks so let's uh, use the react hooks so first type constant and we will use toggle then set toggle right and we have hook called use state Right. it will hold the value for this toggle variable and set toggle use to set the value for this toggle okay initially we can give value to be false okay so toggle is false so for example if you can write the condition in the uh, curly braces and just write toggle and this is ternary operator okay so toggle if toggle is uh, on right then you have to show the high moon otherwise you have to show the colon you have to show the sun okay now if you save it let's go back to our application if something is wrong let's check okay so make sure we will import this use state as well and uh, what else is wrong i think everything is correct okay make sure high sun you, you will import this high sun uh, uh, icon as well and if you go back here right you will this you will look the sun if i change the value of this use state right to true now we'll see the moon okay perfect so that's what we wanted correct now uh, let me give some styling to this one so let's add class name and i will add uh, text size of 35 pixel okay and background so if we are showing the moon right let's go back to our if you are showing the moon the background is a light color correct and the text color is different one so background i will like slate 200 okay and the text color to be black okay. and if i save it you will see this one correct now let's give some padding so padding one and then do the rounded to be full and save it and you will see the application uh, the same thing same thing just copy all the class name and it for the sun because it's quite similar only thing um, instead of bg slate right 200 we have to change it so if you go back here and if i click on it right it's changed so in this case we'll give the 
text to be black and the busy slate to be white yeah, it's the same i think we don't need to change it right so that's fine and save it once you save it let's go back to our application and you will see the changes now what we have to do on click of this we have to switch it right so we have to switch the toggle so in react we have um property called on click so just type on click you will see a bunch of um, options right click on on click and in curly braces we have to write the arrow function okay the arrow function is nothing but when you some execute right you have to execute the function so this is empty function okay no parameter and just you have to set the value right so set toggle right so let me take back this here so set toggle okay and you have to set the value of the toggle so what i will do i will uh whatever the toggles value is there right i will make it opposite of that one right by giving the explicit mark and the toggle so copy the same line of code and paste it for this sun icon as well right correct so let me just i will format this one so it will look better okay high moon and sun and let's save it also i will give the cursor pointer so we'll get some cursor pointer as well cursor pointer save it and if you go back to our application right and if i click on it i will see the change see okay now our header is pretty much completed okay and uh, if you go to this um, mobile view right it still look uh, completely fine okay so it's a fully responsive because tailwind css is a responsive um, ui library so our application also get automatically responsive okay now we will implement the dark mode so in order to implement the dark mode um, let just search um, the dark mode on tailwind css how to do it okay tailwind css provide a very uh, easy way to add the dark mode to the application so if you go to this url okay you will find how to implement the dark mode so in this particular code it mentioned how to implement the dark mode using tailwind css classes okay so you just need to write dark and the, if the theme is dark then what style sheet you need to apply okay so this is very important to while implementing the dark mode for each component we have to do it okay also uh, in our application we are doing the dark mode manually right we are toggling dark mode from the light light to dark okay so we have to um, add this in the model.export file so just copy this one go to your application and in tailwind.config.js file i will add it like this okay and that's all now our dark mode is enabled but in order to apply the dark mode right means you need to change some color some background okay so we will implement that one now so go to the app.jsx and here uh, for now i will remove this uh, class name okay i don't want that one and just type class name okay and when the for example if i write if it's dark mode right uh, we will give the black color and uh, oops sorry so if it's dark not like this bg black for example okay so once you define uh, on dark you want to do the bg black right but we have to tell our application or to this component whether uh, the dark mode is enabled or light mode right so right now you have to define like okay this is a dark mode and just execute whenever the, uh, the dark um, the style sheet which is applied to dark you have to apply that one right and right now we don't need this one okay and when it's dark just apply background color black right and if you go back you will see the black correct now it will not you will not able to uh, quickly understand how it works right but uh, let's uh, keep i will remove this for now okay and keep as it is just define okay this class name has a dark mode okay and this application has a dark mode actually now go to the header and uh, take one example for example um let's let's give some background to this input okay so what i will see if the mode is dark mode then apply background uh, to this cyan 500 okay 
and if I save it, if you go back to application, we'll see this background, right? But as soon as I apply, apply, I change dark to light mode and save it, then we'll see the it applies the light mode and it removes the dark mode uh, style. Okay, so this is how it works. You just need add some condition, some toggle here in order to switch from light to dark and dark to light. Now we will store this light and dark mode in one variable and where it can change. So just type constant and we will use the use state. So theme set theme is equal to use state. And let's say our default is light. Okay. And if I use this one here. Okay. So now this style sheet is a custom one, right? Uh, it's a dynamic one. It can change anytime. So in order to use in a uh, in the form of Delvin CSS, right? You have to define like this. And inside that, just this give this quote, and then say dollar. Then again, uh, the brackets and the theme. Okay. And if I save it and go back to our application, now it's light mode. If I change to dark, it's not gonna affect anything, but you will see the small change. Okay. What we change the we applied this tiles to this input right that's why it's changed so if you understand right i change to light light to dark it works correct now another thing we want to add when uh, there is a dark mode then we have to change the background to black so again we will write one condition so inside after dollar inside the bracket uh, just write theme if theme is equal to equal to dark right Oops, sorry uh, so this code need to be here and if theme is equal to equal to dark then i want to show the black color okay so let's write background okay and the uh, color code uh, this is a custom color code so i am writing in a bracket so in tailwin css if you write any custom value uh, for a given tailwin css class you have to write in a bracket squ uh, square bracket okay like this otherwise don't show anything i don't want any color right so what it did it will do Let me, okay so if the mode is dark this is a ternary operator then show the black color otherwise don't show anything okay and if i save it right now the color is light let's go back here you will not see any change but as soon as i change this color to dark you will see this change right the color is getting black and also this input as well right Now, uh, in order to set this theme from any of this component and that component need to be used that particular theme, right? So in that case, we will use the uh, inbuilt hook called use context, right? So you use context help us to pass the value or uh, not pass, but you can use that value in any of the nested components. Okay. So go to the source folder and create one uh, folder called context inside that. Uh, let's create another file called theme context. So just write theme context dot js jsx sorry and inside that you have to just write export constant theme con context okay is equal to react dot create context okay and default value should be now here make sure you will import this uh, not import but you have to import this create context you don't need to because we use the react so if you want though if you did not you that's fine okay i will keep as it is and save it now our context is ready okay this is a content uh, hooks that we created okay now go back to our app.jsx and here we will use this context okay so in order to uh, use this context, you have to wrap this all of this um, div inside the theme context provider. So just write theme context, okay, and uh, make sure you will import that theme context. Okay, so just write theme context and where you want to import it dot provider, okay, and wrap this. Now here you have to pass the value which you need. Uh, so that user uh, in whatever you define inside header home or there's some 
nested component in the home it can be accessible so we have to pass the value and uh, inside the value we will pass two parameters one is theme and in order to set theme we pass set theme as well Oops, set theme okay and save it if you go back application you will not see any of the changes now we are passing this value theme and set theme right and it can be accessible now in header and home okay now go to go to the header and i will show you how to access this one right so just type constant and in curly braces okay you must remember this is a curly braces that we have to uh, use it right instead of the square bracket so inside the curly braces just write theme and the set theme the parameter we which we pass and here you have to write use context okay in order to con you you have to use the context which context you have to use that you have to define in this uh, square bracket so just theme context okay now if you see the value you can add the use effect method and uh, in console dot log you can just type theme okay so and save it right and if you go back to application go to the inspect panel go to the console and you will see this theme light okay the the one which we define in app.jxs here light if you change to dark okay and let's refresh it and you see the theme dark if you understand right what we did we define our values here and with the help of this context provider we are passing this value and this value is now accessible to header component and home the component as well and the nested in the home component as well right now we are able to access this theme and set theme as well okay now uh, let we already define the toggle correct now we will just uh, set the value to theme to set theme correct so what you have to do depends on the condition right here we are already defined the toggle correct but toggle helps us uh, whether it's a uh, true or false so what we will do instead of toggle just replace with the theme and if the theme is dark uh, then we have to show moon otherwise sun and if i save it let's go back to application oh sorry it's we will opposite uh, we'll make opposite of this one if theme is light okay, now yes if i change this one now it's supposed to change to some other value if theme is light we have to show this one otherwise this one okay now in set toggle correct uh, instead of this toggle what we will do we will change this to uh, color so if i click on moon i should change to dark if i change to light i should change to light so instead of not set toggle we have to set the theme and not the toggle right so set theme here and set theme here right and now save it if i click on it is change and if I click back right it's change back again and now light to dark dark to light you see and this is what we wanted so it automatically applied to the all the um, nested component uh, which we define inside this uh, theme context provider now if you see our application right we want uh, we want to divide this application into two section one is the genera and other is the right hand side with the slider trading uh, games I mean the list of games correct and if you see we have this one grid and this is another grid we can consider and once uh, we decrease the screen size then whole screen is captured by our, uh, the list of game and genera grid will be a hidden one correct so in order to achieve that thing let's go back to our application first let's go to home.jxx file and here we will define two div one is for genera and other is for game list okay if you if you go back to our application and you will see this list right let me co convert to into light mode okay so before that uh, right now if i refresh it right automatically change to black even though i if i change to uh, light right in order to save that uh, theme color correct let's go up to header.jsx and whenever we save this uh, theme correct uh, we will store it in a local storage so what you will do we have to call uh, one function okay 
so after that we can call local storage dot set item and we can call theme colon dark okay and same thing we have to do it for here okay but instead of uh, dark we will change to light so on the click of it we will changing theme as well as we are setting the local storage so what is local storage so each browser uh, in you can store some data right if you go to the inspect panel and go to the application here you can store the data right if i change it you will see this theme right it's stored if i change back it's changed to theme to light correct so this is not nothing but a local storage so this local storage can help even though you refresh it right for example if it's light now if i refresh it the value is light right but we did not added any operation on the screen yet so now let's go back to uh, app.j6 right and here add the use effect and inside the use effect first we will check okay uh, the local storage value what is the local storage value so in order to get the local storage value i uh, write local storage dot get item and inside that just type uh the theme right the local storage name which is the theme correct and then it will store some data okay but you can directly set it to the set theme okay but what if it's null right so what you have to do you have to check first if local storage theme is there or not and then and and local storage so just type like this and let's see Okay. if the local store item is there then in the local storage otherwise uh, apply dark mode okay and if i save it let's go back to our application now and if you see it's coming to dark even though i if i refresh it right it's coming to light if i change it now theme color is turned to dark in local storage and if i refresh it it's still dark and change to this keep light right so this is how it works um i will remove this one um, in header right we apply this dark mode to the input i will remove that one okay yeah now let's go back to our uh, home.jxs file so in home.jxs right now we have uh, genera and the game list uh, let me do okay now first uh, we will add the grid we will convert into the grid and we will say we want two grids so just write grid columns two okay and uh, you will get the two grids correct one and two now in tell if you go to tell you it says grid right just search on google you will find it right so how grid works actually okay and it's very easy and you understand very easily but another important thing here right you want to divide this uh, row or column correct so there are a lot of um, documentation you will f you can get it on the telvin css website right so how to divide the column and everything so for example now we want the column like this right for example uh, the one section for example this section we can call genera and this section as a game list and how we define right so we have to define column in such a way that you can divide uh, and you can assign the column for example in this case uh, we can define the four column okay and if you see if i save as a four column you will see, in our application you will see one two and three four right it's not we did not add anything but only generally we want this one and for game list we want all of these things correct so in this case uh, we will we will say for this we will add the class name to game, uh, this class game list and just write grid sorry uh, not grid but column span 3 right and this is obviously remaining is 1 okay and if you go back here it's not doesn't change anything but if i put some uh, style to this one right some add some not style add some uh, tailwind css class so i will say bg red okay and we wait to be oh, height to be full okay. 
if I go back here something is not right my wrong trade 500 okay and then hide full then if you see you'll see this one section and for game list right we will add the background blue maybe and some color right this i am applying this color to under type of right now if you see generalize this section and game list i have this section and if i decrease the size right we want to hide the genera correct so here in genera when the screen size is smaller right when if you had added this uh, even though you did not added any of this uh, screen size right like md or large it can say as a default as a, a small screen right so just add hidden okay and when the screen size is medium or larger you can add okay the, uh, we want to display as a block okay if i save it and let's go back to our application now right if i decrease the screen size is medium or larger than that which we are able to see the genera if i decrease the screen size genera is get hidden right but if that game list is still uh, not um, acquiring full size so here as well we have to define if medium if the size is medium then apply column span 3 otherwise uh, we have apply all the column is the full screen correct now if you see is applying full screen when it, the screen size is smaller but when screen size is larger we got get general and game list is uh, uh, only three fourth of the application uh, sorry the browser and this is what we wanted perfect so we are able to successfully uh, implement this uh, we, we can add this responsiveness to the application this is a basic responsiveness of the application next we will add the general list how to fetch general list from the api and from there we will go uh, to build the complete application so in this section we'll first fetch a genera so let's go to this rawg.io rock.io uh, website this is the uh, open source api provided by this uh, game listing company so it provide a api for all the games so here if you did not uh, uh, have an account then create a new account and then go to api section so once you are in the api section right uh, just click on get api key and you will see this api key over here okay we will use this api key in order to fetch this uh, game list as well as the genera for the games from this website uh if you go to the documentation of this website you will see this documentation and the, all the endpoints to fetch the game listing genera for our application so right now uh, we are dealing with the genera so if you go to genera right if you have this uh, get list dot video game genera and by calling this api endpoint and by providing the api key we will get the response so in the response we will get the name of genera the id of that one and the image background okay the games covered and uh, other fields as well so this api key uh, and this uh, raw dot uh, uh, io uh, api we are using in our application so in order to fetch uh, data from the api we need http client to fetch the data so here we are using the axios which is the promise based http client for a node.js okay and this is very uh, easy and fast uh, in order to fetch the response from the any api and you just need to um, execute this particular line of command in your project to install the axios so copy it and uh, go to your project and open a terminal and inside terminal just paste the command which you copied okay so it will install this uh, axios dependency for us now uh, in our project folder structure create one folder in source called services okay where we will uh, put all our apis inside that i will create another uh, file global uh, call global api.jsx and inside that we will define the axios okay so 
first uh, let's define the uh, key which uh, we created from the rawg uh, site right so this is the key which i have you can create your own account and then you will get the new uh, api key for then in order to create the axios uh, command right so just go type axios uh, here you can type anything okay the constant uh, name and then axios dot create okay and inside that you have to define some uh, some of the properties so in this case we will define base url and the base url for our api uh, is uh, this one okay so this you will get it from the uh, documentation of the rog so if you go to this site right you will uh, in the documentation section you will find this okay so if you go to the api section and inside the documentation uh, you will file all the endpoints and the um, url of the api as well okay so we we are right first we will fetch the all the uh, genera for the games so this is the endpoint okay so if you see right this is the endpoint for this that one so let's go back to our application here we create our constant and we can say get genera list okay and uh, just we need to pass the gate method so gate and then the endpoint which we pass okay and then the api key so we key, we already defined so just add key like this okay you can define this key in an environment variable you know uh, for the security purpose but right now for the simplicity i keep uh, in this uh, file only now in order to use this particular uh, api right in order to execute that api in different component you need to export it so just type export default and then get general list okay and once you exported it now you can anywhere you can access it so now let's uh, go back our header okay and inside the header oh sorry uh, just go back to home.js so here we want to show general list create correct so i will create one file uh, in the component called general list dot jsx okay add the default template okay and for now uh, let's add this general list in a home jsx in this first section right so add that one make sure you will import it so once you are in the application right you will see the general list here right which uh, is nothing but this component okay so if you go to general list dot 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 for example dash dash, dash and you will see this component is imported okay perfect now here uh, just um, define one method called get general list and do the arrow function here we will uh, call the our api okay so just type global api make sure you did import it and dot the gate general list right and just thing and just consolidate the response okay. also we need to call this method first time whenever uh, this component get loaded right so we will call in use effect make sure it will execute only once so i uh, pass the empty array and then call this method okay now control save let's go back to our application open the inspect panel because we just console the uh, result uh, in the console so it's saying actually is not defined right so go back uh, to our global api make sure you import this axios okay so it's imported now save it go back to our application so it's saying axios.create is not function make sure you uh, 
instead of execute screen just add the create not the execute create and let's save it and if you refresh it right you will get the data okay so right now uh, with the help of exus right we will get this a uh, lot of different um, objects but the actual data is in the data uh, field okay and in the data field we have the results where all this um, general list is available right so we just want the results so in order to do that uh, let's go back our general list here you have to write response dot data dot results and it will uh, give us only the results so you see only uh, right now there are 19 uh, general right so 19 um, list of objects we are getting okay so i hope you understand this particular section okay if you have any confusion uh, then let me know in the comment section in the next section we will uh, design a components so that it will be display on the ui part okay but i hope you understand uh, how to fetch in how to fetch the uh, response from the api with the help of axios okay make sure uh, here that we we did mistake that in order to use the axios right you have to do just axios dot create and make sure you import the statements as well and uh, yeah so see you in next section now we will beat this general section okay we already fetch uh, the data from the api uh, in the last video so let's go to the components and we have this general list right and here we are already fetching this um, the list of genera okay so what we will do we will store in one uh, variable so we will use the constant and with the help of use state we will store it so say genera list say genera genera list is equal to use state and here inside this uh, method we will just say this general list okay uh, so we will copy this one and we will paste it here okay and save it now in general list we have all the list which we fetch so inside this one first we will give the so here we will give the title for our genera okay means the heading so inside the h2 tag just type genera okay uh, and uh, after that we will use some st style to this one so just say text of size 30 pixel <clears throat> and uh, I want font to be bold okay and save it let's see how it looks so let's go back to application you will see this genera correct I will remove this um, the red color right which we applied so in home.jss we applied this red color so I will remove this one and then save it after that uh, on the dark mode when when we change to dark mode right we have to give some color when it's a dark mode so um, just say text white okay and save it so if you see right or if I change the color it's changed to black and black to white see okay also uh, I will give some padding because right now it's touching to the screen so let's go back to home.jsx and here only uh, we will give some padding so just write padding of 2 for example and save it uh, we don't have any change we have actually this very small change so let's say padding x to 5 actually we are not able to see due to this one so but if you see right we are getting this um, padding uh, if you want you can give more it's up to you so if you see right you can able to give the padding now we have to iterate uh, this list of genera correct so uh, we will just iterate this one right so let's say general list oh, sorry not like this so in curly braces you have to write general list dot you have to map this item and say item okay and inside that you have to do arrow function and 
and just write inside div we'll write the uh, all the design so here first we'll show the image source okay and this is a dynamic dynamic in the sense that we are getting from the item right so just type item and we have to check what is the uh, fill name for the image so let's go to our console we already printed this uh, list of general right so here if you open any of this right we have this image background correct so just type dot image dot image background okay and then let's give some width and height to the so inside the class name right we can give width and height for this image so let's bring it here so let's say width of 40 pixel and then height of 40 pixel because we want a square okay and if you go back application if you see we are getting the all the list you see okay next uh, right now right is if you see stretching and not correctly so just write object cover so it will be look good now you see okay after that uh, we'll do round large okay and uh, let's see how it looks so if you see we are getting all the list of genera okay so now let's let's add the title okay so in h3 tag we'll add the name of the genera so item dot let's see what is the in the field name so we have this name okay so just type item dot name and save it so once you did you will get the name as well you see in the adventure okay now bring this uh, along with uh, this one so here what you have to do uh, for this parent view mark it as a flex okay so let's like flex and now it will bring all together okay now give some padding and margin so i will say gap of two and then item to be in the center so it will become a vertical center okay and uh, let's see how it looks until now okay also we use some uh, margin from uh, bottom maybe two okay and you see perfect now on hover we want to change color if you go back here right uh, let's let's consider dark mode first and if i hover on it it changed the color it changed the background as well right so wh what I, ha I have to do uh, let's make it cursor pointer first okay and uh, on a hover I want to change background say background uh, of uh, gray maybe not that uh, so much light 400 for example and let's go back here see make it 300 and uh, if you go back right you see 300 okay also we want to give some padding some margin so just write padding of two okay and we want to round the corner so rounded to be maybe large okay perfect now same thing you have to uh, do for the when you change this uh, color right if you see this uh, name is still black right so you have to basically mention for the dark what will be the color correct so write class name on dark it should be a white correct and if you go back here so go back here first and let's see how on dark it looks right white only also i will increase the font little bit so font to be oh sorry text to be a 20 pixel let's see how it looks and too much 18 make it 18 okay and the uh, text to be white it's not dark white the text to be white and if you see on text is white also i want to change this uh, on hover color as well okay so on hover okay if it's dark then make the gray and uh, maybe let's see how it looks in our example on dark right so it's 
grey but uh, quite dark so like maybe like this we'll try it and let's go back in our application if you see perfect and on color we'll change it correct perfect now another thing uh, if you see here right it's moving right uh, so we have some small animation also we are increasing font on hover so again uh, for this right uh, on not here but uh, you can just write group so how it works right so whatever if you mention this div as a group so whatever include in the uh, group on hover that it applicable all the elements which include in the uh, this particular div correct so now in order to write this right you have to write like group hover and then you have to for example uh, let's scale the size little bit okay and if you see if you go back here you'll see the size is changed right but it's too fast so just write transition all for smooth animation and do the is in out also make the duration to for example 300 okay and you will see that change is see okay perfect also uh, same thing you have to apply here so on group hover you have to make the font to be bold and also just copy this transition all everything for this as well and now if you see perfect same thing if you go back here right on for dark mode as well you will see this okay so i hope you understand this one now when i select any of this right i want to make this um, background uh, to be active right so in order to do it right uh, we will set the we have to set the variable uh, uh, the one constant where we can store the active index right so just type constant say active index here you can set active index is equal to use state okay and initially we can say zeros okay now if you come here right and keep index here okay so we can track the index whether it's zero or fifth element or third element like this and then uh, let's wrap this in a curly braces because uh, we have to put the condition and remove this code and put this type of uh, code okay now here we will write the dollar sign the condition we have to write so the condition is when active index active index is equal to equal to index right then we have to uh, show the background to be gray 300 okay so in curly braces and if it's dark then this dark one okay otherwise don't show anything so it's null okay and uh, what else i miss So only thing right mm. okay so instead of this let's wrap this with the double quote not the double quote okay so not null to this one right okay so null will be a separate uh, uh, option and if you click on it obviously right now you will not see any changes okay because for the only zeroth element it will active because we did not add on click function uh, right here so to this uh, uh, parent view right we will add the on click function as well on click so on the click we have to set the active index okay so on click set active index and uh, we have to set the index which is active and it will set the active index value Okay, and if you save everything and go back to application if i click this one it will set if so click on this one it will set if i ch change color right it will reflect it immediately perfect right so also uh, on the click right obviously i want to increase the size and also i want to uh, make the font bigger you see like this okay 
so inside the same condition you have to add whether the font is a uh, bold or what okay so it, it's again uh, this the same condition which we added here right we have to add for each of the for example for image as well you have to add this condition so wrap this in curly braces change this to this to, uh, quote and then we have to wrap like this okay the active index font to be bold sorry so in this case not font but <laughs> you have to just scale it okay and the same for this one as well so once you get this um, you learn it right and you have to make uh, do some practice so that you can understand easily and here i will change this font to bold and if you go back here now right if you see the font is also changed and the when we click any of this correct okay perfect so also if you see right if you scroll down you will see this white still right and uh, this um, background is not at the bottom so let's update that one now inside this app.jxs which um, we added this height right 100 vertical so just change it to minimum height and if you go back here right right uh, let me remove this one and you'll see everything is black screen now okay and it's working for the light and dark mode as well so in next we will work on the game listing uh, section so in order to fetch the list of games right uh, let's go to rogs uh, documentation and if you go to the game section right we have the get list of games uh, uh, endpoints and if you see this endpoint uh, so this is just we added this slash game so this is the endpoint we will use it okay so go to back our application and uh, in global api.jxx file here uh, we will add one more uh, api endpoint method okay so here just write get all games okay and uh, here we want send endpoint as a games only okay and the key make sure you will add uh, in a export default uh, so that it will be accessible uh, to any components okay now let's go back to our home.jsx okay and here uh, we will call that method the reason that i'm calling uh, the game list uh, get all game list method here so that we can pass it uh, to the any component which we define in the home section so okay so we don't need to call that particular um, uh, api endpoint every time in each component so just define one method called get all games list and the arrow function okay and here we will define global api dot get all games then oh, sorry uh, then write response and the arrow function okay and if you console right we'll get the response now obviously uh, we are using axio so we will get the response in response dot data okay and if i save it make sure you have to call that function once this home component is get loaded so you have to call in use effect okay and inside this we will call it and uh, now save everything now go back to our application right click on the inspect panel and in the console you will see this object okay uh, and in this object we have this results right and right now we have 20 games over here right so in the response data, data we just want the list of games correct so the right uh, data dot results okay that's all and save it and now if you come down we'll get the, all the list of the games only okay perfect so it has a name also it has a, a ratings okay uh, the image which you want to display and lot of things okay where you can take it from so let's go back application and make sure everything is ready okay now we have to store it, store this uh, in some variable right so write one constant constant 
and inside that just set um, all game list comma set all game list equal to use state okay perfect and here uh, we will use set all game list in order to set the list dot data dot uh, results okay and i will remove this one and now with the help of this uh, our all game list has some data okay with the all the latest now we will implement this um, game banner okay so go to your project and inside the component create a one more uh, create a one more file called banner.jx where uh, we will implement our banner component add the default template by entering rfc and make sure in your home.jx just save banner.jxx and in home.jxx um, inside this game list right uh, this is the second section which we created uh, add your uh, sorry add banner.jsx okay and make sure you, you will import that one then go to your project make sure the banner is able to display right right now uh, the screen is la uh, smaller that's why uh, we are not able to see this uh, genera but once the screen is medium or large you will see the genera okay now uh, we are able to see the banner okay i will remove this uh, blue color so just remove this blue color from here and then go back to a banner.jsx okay now right now in this component we don't have any data correct so that and and, and in home.jxx we have this all game list correct so what you have to do we have to pass the uh, this particular game list right so we, here right now we are just showing the only one game right so we will only pass the uh, first element of this um, banner list so just type banner game banner okay just type game banner the prop name that we want to uh, pass and the value right the value is all game list okay and we want to pass first element okay so in this case if you see right the whatever the value we want to pass you have to write in this component in this way okay and then in banner dot um, banner component you have to accept that props okay so here i will say banner okay sorry uh, what is the name so it's game banner right so you will accept that props here okay and save it now whenever it execute right and you will get the banner so th we are passing this banner into this banner dot jxx okay and in order to check whether we are getting or not you can just console it in use effect so pass the empty array and just console this Oops. banner game banner okay game banner i will write like this okay and let's go back to our application clean the console refresh the screen and once we refresh the screen you will see you cannot read the undefined reading zero correct it means you cannot read property undefined it means that uh, in a home.jsx uh, we are getting this value in uh, in this particular uh, game list but before that it executing this one okay because we are fetching data from the api and it's taking some time so what we have to do here we can put one condition if all all game list has some value so for example if have some length which is greater than zero okay and make it option condition then only uh, execute this means show this banner otherwise don't show anything okay so null and if i save it let's check it now clean this one refresh this application and if you see uh, just ignore this for now but if you see right we are able to see this uh, single banner okay the single uh, object which contains the all the games related information okay so i hope you understand how to pass the information and if uh, we are using the api to fetch the information 
put the condition before because uh, this particular uh, line of code is executing before uh, getting the data from the API okay so that's the reason I keep the condition if the data is available then only uh, show this banner image and then only we are passing this uh, uh, all game list the first element from that list okay now in banner we have this game banner perfect so let's put uh, let's show the banner inside this uh, div now inside div let's display the image okay uh, so image we are getting from the game banner okay so here in curly braces game banner dot you have to check the uh, you have to check the prop uh, field name here right so here uh, we want the image right so background image then game banner dot background image and if i save it let's go back to our application you will see this background image correct if i increase size the height is um, too large right and depends on the screen size it's coming okay so you can keep as it is no issue and if i increase the size you will see it's uh, covering all the page means whole page right so we will give some height so uh, here right uh, to this image when so to this image when the screen size is medium then we can give height like height to 320 pixel okay and if i save it let's see how it looks now so if you see right but we want this uh, width to be completely filled so just write uh, width to be full and if you see now it's with really full right but it's stretching the image so just write object cover and bop, it's working correct if you see this which it has a rounded corner so make the rounded corner for this one so just write rounded to be like large and set if you see the corner is rounded you can make it excel and if I, uh, I decrease the screen size if you see right it's changing completely fine okay so on very small screen uh, still uh, the width is not correctly but depends on your uh, you can test it and you can, then you can check it okay next uh, if you see right we want to write this text over this uh, particular image okay so about this uh, image you um, create one div okay and inside div i will write h2 tag and in the in this h2 tag we want to display the uh, name of the game okay so in this tag we have write game banner dot we have to find the field name for the title of the game so go to the console here we have if you expand this one right we have the name tag right so game banner dot name and if i save it it will come at the top right so and then also we have button so let me add button as well along with this button get now okay save it uh, we have your style and everything you see button is coming so let me uh, add some style to this uh, title of the game so here let me add class name and uh, text of 24 pixel then i will add text to white and font to be bold okay if you see yeah it's working right right now uh, text is white so it's not showing but if i change this to black theme you'll be able to see this right and i will also change this get now so add the styling to the get now button so class name i will make the background blue 700 and then text to be white padding x to 2 padding y to 1 or just padding 1 okay if you see button is coming perfect now we want to put this on the top of this image correct so we have to make this div to be of absolute so make it absolute and let's see after that how it looks so it's coming here right so we want it the bottom so just type 
bottom zero okay and let's see how it looks so it's coming at the top so uh, right now because it's considering this particular screen as um, and it putting bottom of that particular uh, layout right so we want only for this image so you have to make uh, due to be a relative okay so make this uh, due to be relative and save it if you see it's coming inside now okay uh, you can do some um, what you say uh, from padding from all sides so i will use some padding here so padding five and then um, we want to use some gradient effect right so we are getting here but if you see we have some gradient effect here right so we will add that one as well so in order to add the gradient right uh, if you go to the tailwind css tailwind css gradient it has a uh, in documentation of this tailwind css uh, you will find how to do the gradient effect how to add the gradient effect okay so for example let's take this example so you have to write which gradient from where you want to from top to bottom or to the right right in this case it's to the right and then from where it should start so this is the start color and two and this is the two color okay and uh, if you want to add one more color so you have to write via uh, which color it should go so it's very easy so intelligence says so just write better bg um, gradient and we want to add top right and then um, just write from i will add the slate a uh, 900 color and i want a transparent at the end right so to transparent and save it and if you see in our application so this is how it looks right uh, but it's showing up until this point because um, the due is is absolute and it's due is up to uh, this point only so we have to extend this so just write width to be full if i save this one it will coming like this perfect now okay you can add your customization into this one uh, if you want to add more text on the image you can do it also uh, with the help of math.random you can uh, do the randomization you can add the uh, random uh, game banner on this particular slide okay so it's up to you how you want to show it in next video uh, we will implement this uh, trading games okay component so and this particular kind of uh, on our animation as well next um, we will implement this trading games uh, section so go back to our application in the component create a new component called trending games dot jsx okay and uh, add a default template so here uh, in the same way that we did for the general list right oh sorry in banner so we have to pass uh, the list of games uh, into this general uh, sorry into the trading games so first define the so after okay so after this one you have to define the uh, uh, trading games component okay so you will see this error right because you have to wrap this in a one div so just wrap it this in one div okay and uh, save everything let's go back to our application make sure you are getting trending games if you see we are getting the title trending games now go back to trending games here we need the game list correct so make sure you will pass the list of games so just type game list is equal to all games list okay and uh, we have to accept that as a props so just type game list okay in order to make sure whether we are get uh, received this game list or not you can console it in a use effect pass the empty array in order to execute only once and just console this one okay uh, if i have any console i will just remove this console from here and from banner as well because i don't need it okay and save everything now if you go back to application 
uh, open inspect panel and in the console section if you scroll right here you will see the list of banner right it is in the trending gaps file okay so now we are getting the uh, all the trending games now go back our trending games component and let's implement the uh, ui so here you have to iterate this game up list correct so just do the game list in a curly braces and map it in order to iterate the list of games so right now we are just only showing four okay so item and we also need the index okay and like this you have to do it so inside div we'll add our all the ui logic but as i say we only showing only first four um games right so you have to add the condition here if index is less than four and and if index is four right then only we can execute this and with this uh, condition we'll execute only when uh, the index is less than four it means zero one two three the first four elements now first let's uh, show the let's show this uh, image first so here in image source you know, curly braces we want to item dot and uh, let's see the fill name so fill name is the background image so say background image okay and save it and if you go back now you will see the first four elements okay now let's go back to our um, code uh, in the file again and here after that we want the text right if you see we want the text as well okay so below that you can just add s2 tag for, for example and in that we'll say item dot name of the game so it's just item dot name and save it and then you will also see the list of game if i change to different color you will see the list of games okay but now it's coming in vertical right and we want to show in a uh, horizontal uh, in horizontal right and we want to show only four items so just apply the grid here so for this parent uh, div just say grid and what how many columns we want so we want the four columns right so just four columns and save it and if you go back now if you see we are getting four item in a horizontal way correct also uh, if you see the application when we decrease the screen size right if I decrease the screen size then on medium we are getting only three items and if I decrease more we are hiding the particular trending list right so same thing we have to implement so when screen size is small we have to hide it when screen size is larger we have to show uh, four in a four column but so this is also will come in medium grid and hidden I'll keep it here sorry so hidden initially when screen size is medium we have to show grid and also we have to show the only three items on the screen and save it now if you go back if i increase the size okay i oh sorry not this one so here if i decrease the size you will get in three items because screen size is medium if i decrease more we are hiding the trending list okay if trending list is not anymore on the screen okay also uh, we have to show uh, this particular title the trending games correct so uh, above this we will add one more div and above this we will add the title trending uh, list or trending games not list <laughs> trending games and just give some uh, styling to this so add a font to be bold text of size 30 pixel 30 pixel and when it's a the more when you change the uh, theme to dark then we want to show text to be white because initially it's black color okay and if i see it you will see the trending games name right you can give some uh, margin from the top so margin top to five for example and if you go back i think this is much better okay 
now we we are getting this one and uh, we also add the responsiveness for our trending games now the task is to apply the styling okay so if you see this is more uh, kind of vertical okay so uh, let's give some height and width uh, for our images okay so here we have to uh, give the height first so in the class name we give height of 20 70 pixel and uh, let me put it down also uh, we want to give the counter to be rounded so just write say rounded oh, sorry rounded large and uh, object need to be covered so it will not look like a stretching okay and if you see perfect this is what we wanted right also i will give some gap so here only uh, let's say gap of three let's see how it looks see if you see uh, our application right uh, there is more gap so it's up to you how many how much gap you want to give so let's say four and that's fine okay now we are uh, implement this uh, image as well now let's give some background to this one and like this one right and also want to change the font styling and everything so for this h2 uh, let's say class name and here obviously uh, it is in a uh, black color but when the theme is dark uh, we want to change it to text to white okay also uh, i will change the size to 20 pixel and font to be bold okay and if i save it let's go back to application we will see these changes okay so you can add the uh, background here only or you can add the background like this for example if i add the background okay and uh, let's say background color to be like i will put the color the custom one okay this one uh, actually i don't need the okay let's see how it looks first if you see the background correct on light it's showing like this and that's fine and we also give the rounded corner to be large we give some padding to two and let's see okay. so if you see right we are adding padding to all this uh, element but here we did not add it to all the element it's up to you how do you want i will not uh, add the padding here okay so instead of that instead of this one right you can add the padding uh, directly to s to your s2 tag right and like this and it will look like this okay it's up to you how you want to uh, show okay and if you see our corner is not rounded at this point right but in this case it's rounded here right so for this image right instead of long, rounded lg you can say only rounded top one okay and not the bottom one and it will see only top one will be get rounded okay if i change the theme it also get changed the reason is we use the custom code and it's little bit transparent okay and that's the reason you will see these changes okay and i think uh, we pretty much completed this section not section but we pretty much implement this um, um trending games now the thing is add the hover effect okay so first add the consider this as a group okay and then on hover we can scale the size okay so you can scale the size uh, to the image or h2 but uh, in this case i will uh, apply this transition effect directly to this div so just write um, on hover scale the size to maybe 110 and we want transition to be smooth so transition all and let's say duration 300 and is in out animation okay it's in out and save it and if you go back here now you will see this animation right we will make we'll make the cursor pointer as well so make the cursor pointer and uh, also i will give some margin from the top for this do so like margin top to five go back you'll see it changes perfect okay 
I hope you understand this particular concept and uh, if you uh, as I told right it's fully responsive even though if I decrease the size right let's uh, see the responsive size so if I change the size right only three items when screen size is medium and if I decrease more we are hiding it right we want to hide the trending games as well right it's not hiding so if you go back here and uh, we put this hidden okay uh, initially I'm sorry initially here only and we add the when the screen size is medium you can add like okay let's block uh, this display as a block and we'll hover it from here and if i save it go back here so over it means we are hiding this text but if i decrease the screen size we'll show everything okay and uh, yeah i think we are done with this trending games as well i hope you understand everything if you don't did not understand any uh, do you have any question please comment out in the comment box also i am putting um, the source code in my, um, the this in the description so you can go it and you can also check it from there if you did not or you are missing something okay and in the next section uh, we will implement this popular game section okay so let's see so in this section we will face the all the popular games okay and that games is uh, depends on the selection of the genre okay if you select the action then obviously this popular game will uh, update with the all the games with the action uh, category okay so uh, let's go to our application and in the global app api we have to use this endpoint called slash games okay also uh, just pass the key and we have to pass the genre id as well okay so in order to do that i am passing i am writing this uh, particular endpoint with the passing the id of the genera okay and i am just attaching like this okay make sure you will export this one okay and once you export you can use it anywhere uh, throughout the application now go to the components and create another file called games by genera id dot j x okay and here add the default template so we have to fetch the all the genera okay so what you have to do uh, go to the home jxx and where we will uh, use to fetch the information okay the, uh, here we all already fetching the game list also we will fetch it from here only okay so create another method called constant and say get game list by genera id okay and this is arrow function obviously we are passing the um, id here okay and here we will fetch the um, game list by genera id okay so just implement the global api and uh, the genera id okay so right now uh, i will put a default as a 4 then response and the function okay now let's print the value whatever we are getting so in obviously uh, we, we have to fetch it like this okay so we won't only want the result so respond dot data dot result and we will get the list of uh, games okay i am passing this uh, general id as a default one uh, let's see uh, what general id we have and we will pass one of them so if you go back here okay and go back to our application just go to inspect panel go to the console and uh, somewhere here we have list of genera okay so for example at the top we have this fourth four means the action okay and that uh, id i am passing make sure we will also uh, calling this function in use effect okay and then save it okay and you will see game list by genera id okay and save it now if you go back here uh, clean the console so let's refresh once and see if you are getting any error so we got the one error called exhaust is not defined right so if you go back in global api so we want exo create like this okay the spelling was incorrect 
and if I refresh this, let me refresh it again and you will see the game list by general ID and we are getting the list of all the games which is related to the selected general ID right now we are passing 4 right which is the action one okay and we are getting the same uh, list of object that we are getting from the for the trending games okay now we are able to successfully fetch the uh, the game list by general ID now we have to store that one uh, so that let's define one constant and uh, we'll say game list here again and just say set game list oh sorry not here so in home jsx okay game list by genera okay so and here you have to say set game tree by genera id okay and use state initially i will pass empty array okay and in order to set the value for the game list by genera you have to use set game list by genera and pass this uh, value okay and save it now we have the list of genera right now we have to pass this game list by genera to this game list uh, by genera component right so what i will do uh, define uh, so add the component here so games by general id okay. and here you will pass this uh, genera okay the game list by genera so so i'll put like this let's put game list only and the value is different okay and here you have to accept it okay just game list now in order to check whether we are getting or not just do the use effect okay and pass the empty array console.log you can let game list and then game list okay save it let's go back to our application and if you see we are getting the game list you see this one right and which is in the uh, game by general id component Okay, and we are getting all the list perfect so we are able to successfully uh, fetch uh, the game list by genera okay in a home component and then we are storing it and then we are passing it to the game by genera id okay now what will happen here sometimes uh, this will take some time to load it right and before that it will execute this uh, function so you can add another operation called and 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 you will you can also wait to load uh, the game list by genera okay so you can again put like condition like this is greater than zero okay so that once you have all the data like all game list and game list by genera then only uh, uh, you will see this all this information okay this is how it works so i hope you understand how to fade the data now next we will implement and show the list of uh, games by genera okay now we have game list by genera id uh, in our games by genera id uh, component okay so let's uh, iterate that game of list in order to display on the screen so in a curly braces display game list in order to iterate just write map then the item and the arrow function Okay. inside that i will uh, wrap everything in div okay. now uh, if you see uh, application right we have the image then the title uh, this um, rating code so rating some comments and a um, couple of more things right so let's display the image first so just type image source inside that we have item dot and the background image right let me check the fill name again so go to the inspect panel console and here somewhere we have the data results and the background image okay so item dot background image then we want to show title so 
h2 tag item dot title okay oh sorry uh, not title it's a name game name right so item dot name also uh, we are showing this uh, number 92 right this is a metacritic metacritic i think yeah so if you see right it's uh you know one line of this is in the same line right so i will what i will do i will add the span tag here okay and then item dot metacritic okay then we have this star 4.47 the comment and 409 right so this is nothing but the rating which we have correct so in order to uh display the star correct uh, i'm directly putting this uh, star icon so if you see right not the icon but the, the, it is in the text format only so if you go in the application let's put it in different line so h2 tag then the star then the item dot rating okay and then we have this comment so this this uh, 6350 is nothing but the review count so just put the review count so just type uh, just uh, use this one for comment so this icon i'm i get it from the whatsapp this we have that whatsapp emojis right so from there you can get it and you can directly use it okay and then we have the uh, reviews count and the last is i have fire icon <laughs> this one and the 409 which is nothing but a oh, let me quickly check the suggestion count okay so it's up to you uh, what you want to display on the screen okay so for this example i am using these three uh, fields okay and save it now if you go back to our application here right you will see the image if you see right you are getting all the images with the name and the title so all the required fields are there now let's apply some styling so for image source uh, i will uh, apply some styling first so class name then uh, i will write it to be full and then height i want 18 percent only 18 percent then rounded corner to be Excel and object need to be cover okay but if you see uh, we applied this uh, styling and it's applied for um, image but we want to show in a grid because we want to sh display uh, if you if the screen is larger right let me decrease this one and if the screen is larger we are showing three items okay and if a screen is smaller if I, let me decrease the screen size and if the screen is smaller we are showing two items and if screen is uh, sorry screen is smaller then one item if screen is medium size we are showing two item and screen is large then we are showing three items okay so uh to this grid right uh just apply the class name inside that light grid okay so initially we want only grid column one for the small screen for medium screen we will write grid columns two and for large screen we want grid column three okay and save it and if you go back to our application now you will see the changes if you see one three items if i decrease the screen size okay it's when it's smaller we are showing one when it's medium we are showing two and when screen is large we are showing three okay now let's apply some styling give some gap so just add some gap here so right now here i will add gap of six maybe and uh, let's see how it looks so see gap is six is fine also uh, let's uh, apply some background okay so this background color uh, we will use it so for this div uh, we have to use this background effect to inside div okay so if you go back to our code will apply to this one okay so for example class name background gray and let's apply 600 and if you see how it looks 
okay this is look like this i think this is fine right and then apply some padding so i will go padding too and also want to rounded corner to be a large and save it and uh, yeah we can do more padding if you want let's do some padding three okay and if you see it look like similar okay also we'll give some margin and we want to show this popular game a title as well okay so add one new div and new div and inside here add h2 tag and just write the title like popular games so popular games okay apply some styling to this one so class name then i want font to be bold the text size i want to be a 30 pixel and when it's a dark mode i want to show text to be in the white color okay and we'll give some mar margin top to 5 and for this one i will give margin top to 5 okay if i go back here now if you see popular game is coming okay and our um, list is also showing now let's apply some styling to this text okay the title of the game so apply class name here say text of uh, 20 pixel then text to be white and save it okay. you see also uh, you can uh, change the font size as well okay and if i change the color correct the color is similar to little bit it's not similar but it's changed right so what we'll do we'll keep this kind of color so, and it's kind of transparent right so i will use the same color which we use uh, in the above section so go to the trading games we use this color because this color also has little transparent one so instead of gray 600 i will use the custom one okay this one and save it if you go back we'll see this right now uh, for this uh, game title i will make the font to be bold okay and uh, yeah i think that's enough right and if i save it go back here you will see this one okay now if i change the font it will look like this correct so make sure you will change this uh, title to black when it's a dark mode so when it's a dark mode oh sorry uh, so my bad so actually uh, when it's a dark mode make it white okay let's see how it looks now so when it's a light mode it will show dark and when i change the color it will show white okay also uh, apply some styling to this uh, text as well and also for this 92 all right so for this one i will use i will copy the, uh, the same code so if you go back here right and for this pan tag where is pan tag this one right so apply class name and paste this one okay go back if you see right i'm getting this number now 92 okay so we, it's very easy i just uh added the some padding okay and make the con um, background to be uh, rounded small and i applied the background color uh, the light green and the text green color okay and for i keep as a medium also uh, for this one right uh, we will just add the class name and some text color to be gray 500 okay and if you go back right you will see the text color okay it's it's similar actually if change the color right it's showing like this it's up to you if you want to make it dark and uh, depends on the theme you can do it if on the theme it's look good but on the other side uh, you can make like on the screen if the screen is dark text then you can make gray to be a little 200 like this okay and if you can test it immediately okay perfect you can make 300 okay now the important part is uh, here okay so the thing is you have to give some uh, if you go back here right you will see this text is coming like this correct uh, it's it's not filling so what you have to do uh, for this div 
let's try to use some padding bottom some seven okay and see whether it's matching or not right it's still outside uh, and uh, also make sure the height is full okay and uh, let me give some more padding about the bottom side so that it will cover right because uh, most of this uh, game has a um, the size of the particular game title is of maximum two lines okay so make sure your content is filling here okay also um, I think um, that's enough for this one right and you can skip some gap between this I'm not sure whether we can do it or not but let's try okay yeah if you see right we, we are putting some gap I'm not sure okay so you can put some gap uh, I will keep as it is okay so <laughs> throughout I kept as it is and it's up to you how you want to show it okay and uh, I hope you understand this one now the next part is if you see on hover right let me close this one uh, it's moving right so same thing which we did for the trending gaps that you have to apply on hover effect to this div okay so to this div I will apply on hover effect and uh, I will scale the size okay so scale it to 110 and that's all and boom you are done right so easy oh sorry this one right so easy but if you see right the animation is so fast so obviously you need to do the transition all for the smooth animation easy now animation type and some duration I will keep 300 okay and also I will make the cursor pointer okay and if you go back this is our application you will see it's working okay also this is also working and we keep the theme throughout the application similar correct so it look good now we pretty much completed to display the list of uh, games on the screen okay now the important part is on the click of genera we want to filter out uh, this list of games correct it means we have to pass the genera id to the api uh, of getting the game list from the genera okay if you go back to our application and in the global api with this api endpoint right we are passing the genera id and uh, in a, if you go to the home.j6 we are passing the hard coded uh, genera id which is four for the action genera okay now in order to click on the any genera right we have to make sure that we, we are passing the genera id to the home screen api and it will re rewrite the new set of games okay so let's go back our uh, general list and here we are uh, doing the set active index right on click function method already so wrap this in the double curly braces and we will call one uh, we will call one more uh, method not method but in order to pass the value back from child component to the parent component we have to write some method okay so here we will say set genera set gen genera id and here you can write index okay not the index but the item dot id i think item dot id okay if you see if you go back here in a console right in inspect panel and console we have the not game list but here right we have the genera the id for for the indie game for adventure we have id 3 so that id we have to pass so that's the reason i put item dot id okay and this set genera id you have to set it in the your props okay so once you set that function uh, method in the uh, name function method name in a props then go back to home and you can accept that one in this right so it's a reverse kind of uh, data passing okay so you can write like this general id okay and inside this one okay so inside this you have general id and you can call the method so in this case i will call this one and you can pass this general id okay so it contains only id okay and you can 
try to print it here okay and the id so for our understanding purpose instead of set general id okay if you go back to general list i will set id okay and uh, here as well i will set general id and then in home just replace this set to general id i will you can change this uh, name or oh, sorry uh, the calling method name is up to you how you want okay general id okay and let's save it let's try whether we are getting or not so click on this one um, let me remove this one okay and if i click on some for example if i click indie right you will get the general id you see 51 if i rpg you will get the list of them. if i click on fighting you will get the list of general id right and so on click you understand this one right perfect so let's make sure that you it, it's filtering this list of uh, games okay now we have all the genera uh, id here right when user click on any of the genera uh, so replace this hard coded for value with this id also we miss one more thing here right uh, we we want to set this uh, general list by uh, sorry game list by general id in this function but by mistakenly we are setting in get all game list right so remove this from here and put it in the get game list by general id okay also make sure you will call this uh, first time when you are calling the function right you have to pass the id okay so at the first we pass as a four okay because our action is the one uh, very first element and it's a default selected element right so that's the reason i'm passing four as a default one okay and then when user click any of them then uh, depends on the selection our uh, game list will get filtered automatically if you go back here let me close this one if i click on action right you will see this action move. if i click on sport you will see the sport move is getting changed right if i click on fighting you see how it changing right board games is changed immediately okay so it means our on click of genera um, selection we are filtering out the list of the games okay now the interesting and challenging part it's not challenging but this is challenge for you that when you click on any of these uh, games right sorry genera make sure you will update the title of this uh, popular game so instead of popular games you can say racing games if i select the sports so you will say sport games kind of things okay so this is challenge for you uh, try to resolve it uh, in the next uh, section i will tell how to do it now in order to display the genera uh, name here right uh, when user select the any of the genera we want to show the genera name games okay for example in this case if i select the puzzle so we have to show puzzles games okay so let's go back to our vs code here uh, go to the general list on the select on the click of the genera we have to pass back uh, the value of the, our name of the genera right so you can create um, add one more fun, uh, method here to send the name of the genera right so you can say uh, selected genera name and pass the value so in this case item dot name okay then you have to pass it as a props here and make sure in the home.jxs from the, which is a parent component you are uh, receiving it in the uh, in general list component right so here you can call it like this okay also i define one uh, constant variable using the use state which is the selected genera names which hold the value of the selected genera and by default i put as action as a first element right means by default is action uh, name okay and uh, just on the click of that right you have to set the value so in this case i will say name and then you have to just set the value so just write the set selected general name and here you can set the name okay so now we we have the selected general name value okay now what you have to do this particular uh, uh, variable name or value you have to pass to the uh, games by general id component okay so here you can say selected oh sorry which i already written this one okay 
so you just need to pass this value over here right now go back go to this games by genera id component make sure uh, you are accepting it as a props okay so that you can use in this component and now you are getting this value right you can console it but are and then you can replace this popular word uh, with this uh, selected genera names and save it right now by default we will you will see the action because we uh, in the home right default value is action and uh, our default selection is also an action okay and if i select the for example shooter so it will get shooter games if i select the racing it will get the racing games fighting fighting games family family games this is how easy you can pass the uh, data from child to parent and parent to child okay so this is how it works